This is Chester from the Old Deer Hunters. Today I'm going to show you how I took my Tika T3X 223 hunting rifle and made it a more efficient coyote rifle for hunting in daytime and nighttime. This is my Tika 223. Uh, it's a great little varmint hunting rifle for daytime. Uh, it's set up with a Lupo VX2 412 scope. Uh, and I also put a little mount on here for a flashlight uh, because occasionally we would hunt uh, hogs over a feeder and I'd get to take a, a hog at night, you know, with a, just, a, just a light. But I wanted to make it a, a more versatile rifle. I wanted to be able to use it in the daytime or use it at night with thermal optics. And it was very difficult uh, because of the stock configuration and my thermal optics have quick detached mounts. We normally use the quick detach mounts so I can move it from uh, my 223 to my 65 Grindle on my AR-15s. But it makes it a little bit tall for this one, so we had to come up with a solution about how we could uh, make this more useful with thermal optics. So here's what we did. So here's what we came up with. It's uh, just a few things to make it uh, a lot more versatile rifle. The first thing is a Picatinny rail. The second thing is a, uh, a chassis that can uh, change the, the cone for a better line of sight. And the last thing, uh, we threaded the barrel. So the first thing we did to make this thing work with uh, my, my thermal optics, which has a, a Picatinny uh, quick detached mount from American Defense, is I had to take the regular old mounts off and add a Picatinny rail. But that was an easy fix. You know, they're readily available from uh, all over the internet or most of your uh, sporting goods stores to fit this rifle. Uh, the second thing uh, we did was to find out, find a good uh, chassis for the rifle so it would have an adjustable cheek piece so I could use it uh, in a down position for my daytime optic, but raise it up for the proper line of sight for my thermal optic. The thermal optic I run is a, a Pulsar Thermion XQ50. Now I could just mount that scope directly into a set of 30 millimeter rings if I used it on just this rifle. But because I switch it from uh, this rifle to the AR-15 platform, uh, I, I use a quick detachable mount and that mount it for the AR-15 is a little bit has to be a little bit taller for the proper eye alignment. So now I can take this scope off, clamp on the uh, Pulsar Thermion in the American Defense mount with the quick detach mount, and all I have to do is just raise this cheek piece to get the proper uh, eye alignment on my scope. So. This was the main thing that, that uh, started all this. Uh, the, running the Thermion, uh, taking it out of the mounts and putting it in here every time I wanted to change it just wouldn't work. That defeats the, op the, that defeats the purpose of having an American Defense <laughs> quick detached mount. I want to talk to you a little bit more about this uh, KRG Bravo stock. Uh, it's got several features that really uh, work for me. Uh, one of them being this it has the AICS uh, compatible magazines. So this is a MDT uh, magazine, holds 10 rounds, and they function really, really well. Gives you 10 rounds in case you get lucky out there and get 10 shots at some pigs. Uh, the next thing is that since uh, we always hunt coyotes uh, using a tripod and ARCA rail clamp uh, on our AR-15s, I wanted the same type of setup. So, uh, this, see if I can turn it around where you can see it. This has a, a full length arca rail that fits underneath the uh, front of the, the chassis. As you know, this has a aluminum bedding block in here and the composite underneath. So make, this makes it light, it's only about two pounds, but the aluminum bedding block makes it really strong and really secure uh, for, your, for your rifle. The uh, arca rail mounts through 
the uh, the polymer part of the stock and goes into the, the bedding block so it's really secure doesn't doesn't move at all so that really works out well for me and that's one of the main things I wanted I wanted a, uh, a full length uh, rail mount I want it to be solid and the main thing is I want it to be uh, to work with uh, the same things that I, I'm used to uh, using when we're hunting at night using our thermal optics and I've had no issues with it at all so everything has fit together <laughs> really well the stock uh, the uh, the rail that goes with the stock the magazines everything really functions well the last part of this uh, build I want to discuss is about the threading of the barrel uh, Tico rifles uh, the varmint version has a threaded barrel already but this both the Tika Light Series, like I have, did not have a threaded barrel, so uh, I wanted to use a suppressor uh, at night, especially. Uh, so I found uh, a local gunsmith, Grizzly Guns. Uh, it's run by Steve Smith. He's in Jefferson, Georgia. Now, Steve does all kinds of gunsmithing work, uh, and he specializes in serre coatings. So if you have a shotgun, rifle, anything like that, and you're in the great state of Georgia, you might want to Look up Steve. Uh, he does great work with sear coating. He got this barrel threaded for me in only one week, and uh, that's a pretty amazing turnaround for a gunsmith. So just want to give him a shout out. I'll put his uh, website and phone number in the uh, in the description below. So just want to say thanks for uh, visiting the Old Deer Hunters uh, YouTube channel, and uh, please subscribe. Uh, we're going to uh, uh, have a second uh, or third video using this rifle as soon as I get it all set up and sighted in with the uh, thermal optics then I'll come back and uh, show you how it how it looks and how it works and uh, maybe a range session or, uh, session or two to see uh, how well it works with the, uh, the new suppressor so just uh, come on back subscribe hit that little bell down there and uh, we uh, really appreciate doing this work we're not you know, we don't get paid for anything to do this. We just try to pass along uh, what we're doing, and it's, it's fun for us, and we hope it's fun for you. So thanks for stopping by.